one. Hi, this is Dr. B and I'm here to talk about the difference between active and passive transport. Active transport, remember, takes energy and passive transport doesn't take energy and I'll talk about why. Here, at low concentration, close to the ground, that's, um, takes energy to go to high concentration because you're going kind of against the concentration gradient. It's harder and it takes energy to go from low to high. When I'm up there, it's not going to take much energy to go from high concentration to low concentration, and that's passive transport. Passive is easy, it doesn't take energy to go from high to low. Let me show you. So I'm at low concentration, I'm close to the ground. I'm going up to high concentration, and that's is passive transport. I'm going to go high to low and it's not going to take any energy. Woo! So that was passive transport. Went from high concentration to low concentration and it didn't take any energy. Things like oxygen and carbon dioxide do passive transport. They go from low concentration or from high concentration to low concentration without using energy. This is Dr. B talking to you from a beach near Lake Michigan, signing off.